So Greg, um, we've seen Aquatil in operation today. Can you just give us a brief background to, to, to the machine? Yeah, so basically the machine is an ultra high pressure water pump. This particular machine is rated to 60,000 PSI, which is about 4,500 bar. When the liquid converts the pressure into velocity at the nozzle, it's coming out at about three times the speed of sound, and effectively it's micro erosion that just uh, that does the cutting for us. It gives us an extremely sharp and clean cut, and so far today, I mean, we've been able to get through that residue at um, water rates that look uh, pretty good. We've been using this particular pump now for five years, and we've had no problems with it. Um, obviously things like you know taking care and filtration and all those sort of things are important, but in saying that, we've been able to run uh, water through it, um, fertilisers like UAN, uh, Liquid N, through it. Uh, we've also had success in running herbicides, insecticides and fungicides for different applications where, for example, you might want to put a herbicide into a plant that has no leaves, um, like a regrowth return. We have put uh, fungicides in the ground where we know we want the roots to intercept them rather than just be on a seed dressing where it will end up in the foliage. So yeah, we've used the high pressure for a number of um, reasons. Today we've been out really using it primarily as a coulter, effectively just cutting through the cane trash, which would enable other seeding operations or potentially even some insecticide placement to occur. Well, it's definitely got a lot of uh, potential, certainly for guys that have got sticky uh, soils under trash blankets, where you've got uh, loams at one end and red or clays at the other that give heaps of problems. So I think it could overcome a, a lot of issues with um, nutrition, insecticide, applying them underneath our trash blanket, which is a difficult issue for a lot of us to solve. And uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a bit more investigation. It's got a lot of potential. I think, you know, people talking about, you know, running three or four rows of implements and that's with you know potentially they wanting to do multiple chops or so multiple rows of peanuts but when I say three or four rows we're talking of, of actual cane um, so doing a single injection on those say for Confidor that would be extremely easy with that pump if they wanted to do you know multiple six six individual runs per, per run of cane so to chop or to, to sow something else then that's probably doable with that pump as well. Um, so yeah, look, look, we think that pump's going to be pretty robust and by in making it more robust, we've also asked them to simplify it. So we're probably going to see a, 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 a cost that's acceptable to the market for that type of simple product as well. Excellent. So Tony, um, just to wrap up, with this, and we've, we've got a vertical tillage group here that, we're, that there's about five of us belong to, including myself. Um, so we need to investigate this further um, and develop something, would you agree? Oh, most definitely. Look, uh, we've got the tool here now, let's figure out how we can apply it best in our situation. Yeah, it's, uh, Excellent. I think it's very exciting.